Hey, my name's Dan Jackson. I'm from Olathe, Kansas, and I ride a Kawasaki ZX6R. I'm sponsored by Alpine Stars, Chewy Helmets, Scott's, Michelin, Vortex, uh, Leo Vince Exhaust, Strange Music, Wrap It Up Vehicle Wraps, Smithers Customs, Freestyle Ingenuity. Uh, all those companies take good care of me and looking forward to a good season this year at XDL. Uh, back home in Kansas City, you know, I, got, I got two legit places to ride. One place, I kind of call it the weekend super lot spot. We go there on the weekends. We got permission to ride there from the building owner. And then the other spot's just kind of like my weekday spot. I try to get in a couple sessions. Both spots I try to ride, you know, three to four times a week. Right now, I really don't have anything sick going on. I'm working on backing it in high chair to 180 bunny hop and then the new like calico whip high chair like popping it at 180 so kind of been waiting to bust it out this weekend i don't want to show anybody no, i just want to save it for a sick trick my all my drive probably come from motocross background you know growing up racing motocross so sport bike scene nowadays i really like watching bill ride you know he takes that technical and he's a very innovative rider uh, really stepping his game up with like just the innovative parts on the motorcycle. And seems like nowadays that's what's ra what's raising the bar. So, uh, in three years, I, I expect to still be coming out here strong, uh, competing at XDL. Uh, hopefully by that time I'll be picked up by a factory uh, manufacturer. Um, in contact with Kawasaki, you know I've been having another couple uh, deals on the table right now. So just hoping to get one of those guys to bite on my program and just come out here in full effect to um, represent you. I'd like to see XDL in three years, or two, a couple years down the road, I'd like to see XDL more mainstream. Uh, I think Randy's doing an excellent job pushing in that direction. You know, we're moving in, we're in big venues like Daytona Speedway, we're at Nashville, you know, mo both MotoGPs coming into this season. I think that's gonna help out just for our program. And just the more people that come to our event and see how professional it is and how it's ran and organized, it's just slowly, you know, getting rid of all that bad hype that we've had to deal with for the last 10 years. And uh, Randy and Thomas, they're doing an excellent job. Uh, closer to home. <laughs> I spend so much time in the RV, you know, we drive 24 hours straight, usually at every event. I think right now we're doing both coasts and in uh, Indy and Nashville. Uh, I, think, I think markets, maybe New York, Ohio, it seems like the sport bike market's pretty popular there. So I'd like to maybe see us grow into those areas and that pretty much would put us all the way across the map. Uh, during a competition, I really don't get nervous. I've been doing this uh, competing sport bike freestyle for over 10 years, and prior to that, I raced motocross since I was a little kid, so uh, there's nothing like going up to the starting gate at a racetrack and getting the belly, uh, butterflies in your stomach, but I think the butterflies are gone. I think it's now just, uh, more just pressure, you know, coming out here, the competition nowadays is getting more, uh, more competitive so there is butterflies there but I tend to deal with it and uh, just have the experience to push it away and not let it bother me. I'm not very su superstitious when it comes to like running my program or coming to an event you know I don't have to wear the same pair of boxers or same pair of socks or hang my gear a certain way or not touch my helmet drop my helmet on the ground if it's new. Um, I'm kind of just OCD person nowadays I don't know I'm real particular I want things clean and organized but when it comes to superstition, I don't, I think that's just a mental thing some people let get in their head and I, I just kind of focus that out. Carpet or hardwood? <laughs> I definitely like the hardwood. I want to, if I'm working with something, I want it to be smooth and shiny so I can get in there and slide in and get my work done.